Hello guys, welcome to ECT Presents Tech View, another episode. In this episode, actually, I want to show you one thing, very interesting things, which is whenever you have a vCenter, and if you want to access your vCenter, um, you can use any browser, but the thing is from where you are browsing. So if you browse vCenter from your uh, laptop, your laptop must be a member of your domain. Otherwise, you cannot access vCenter. That's a common problem. But in this video, I will show you if your laptop is not a member of your domain, still you will be able to access vCenter. But you need to do some configuration. So what's the configuration? Let's get started. So this is my laptop uh, <clears throat> desktop. And my laptop is not the part of my domain. My domain, in, I have a domain environment. So this is my Active Directory. This is my DNS server. Like if you can look at here, um, just give me a second. So this is my DNS server. ELS.com is my domain. So this is my first domain controller. And um, if you look at here, so if any one of the machine, so I have here DNS, I have WSL server, you see from the W servers, I'm able to access vCenter. Okay. Maybe the last one. Anyway, administrator at the SPR dot local. Okay, so I'm able to log in my vCenter, right? But from where I'm going to browse, I'm browsing from this server. You see, it is Google Chrome browser I used to access vCenter. See here, I'm able to log in, right? But the thing is, this WSUS or whatever the machine is, this one is a member of my domain. How? If you can look at here, if you look at the Google local server, you're gonna see, this is the machine name and also it's under this domain, ELS.com. So that means this machine is a member of my domain. So if you have a 1000 server under your domain, then from all servers, you will be able to access your vCenter. But if you want to, if you try to access vCenter from your laptop or desktop computer, and then that desktop or laptop not a member of your domain. In that case, you cannot do that. Let's uh, let's try to access here. Say for example, uh, this is the URL, right? So I'm just going to copy the whole URL, and I'm going to open one of if like Google Chrome browser, and paste it here. Hit enter. What is this? Like it's not, it says smelling as uh, spelling correct, or maybe there is no network issues or something, right? So this site cannot be reached because your computer is the browser we are using. The browser I, I just opened is from my local laptop or my desktop, right? And my laptop and desktop is not a part of my domain, domain, right? Active directory domain. That's why that's the problem. But without adding your computer with the domain, how are you going to add it? So one thing you just need to do, some one configuration you need to do. So from your laptop or desktop, just go to the file explorer and click on this computer, then go to the C drive, then Windows, and then 
uh, system 32. So I just hit S on from a keyboard. That's how I can sort it out easy way, system 32. And inside the system 32, you need to go to the uh, drivers. You see drivers. And then under inside the drivers, you need to go to the ETC folder. And when you go to the ETC, you're gonna see a host file. So this host file, you need to be edit. This host file, you need to be edit. So right, you can double click on it, then you're gonna see options. So select notepad and click okay. So, and then you're gonna see here some example, local host name, resolution, and also you see the IP address and the local host. So what are you gonna do? You can just type it here, I am here. I'll type the vCenter IP address, which is uh, 192.168.1.80. This is in my case, in my case, my IP address is this, my vCenter IP address is this. But if you, in your case, if it is different, then put the, provide the different IP address. And then in here, uh, type the URL, like URL means like not HTTPS, HTTPS, you don't need to put the HTTPS, just the uh, DNS name, just the DNS name, like fully qualified domain name of your vCenter. This is called, this is the vCenter name and ELS is domain name. That means it's a fully qualified domain name of your vCenter. That's it, that's it, that's simple. Inside the host, just enter the, from the last one, enter. And then you don't need to put the um, like hash key or something, you don't need to. Just provide the IP address and then give some space and then provide the fully qualified domain name of your vCenter. That's it and save it. So sometimes you cannot save, if you save, you cannot save it here. You have to save as to outside of somewhere. Say for example, I'll put it on desktop somewhere and the, the, with the same file name, I'll just click all and host and just save it. Uh, but before you save it, just let me one, one thing I want to see actually what's the extension of this host file. Uh, this is very important. So you have to go to view options, option, then change option, view, and then hide them. Um, uh, already up. Okay. Okay. Anyway, so this is the file. If you look at the properties, post file. So that's it. So if you cannot save it, what are you gonna do? If you cannot save it, just try, in in my case, I is is saving like this. I just save it. It's saved, right? But if you cannot save it, you can just do save as <clears throat> go outside somewhere. Like say, for example, your desktop or your download. I can say desktop and select this on all files and, um, and save, save. Okay, save, right? So this one is save as a dot text, txt, right? But if in your case, my case, I can save it just control S or, or or on the file, or, or on the file, what I do, I just click file and save. But in your case, if it's not saved directly here, you can go for save as, and when you do the save as, it's gonna save as a text file. It's gonna save as a text file, right? It's gonna save, you see here, it's gonna save as a text.txt. So what are you gonna do? So come here, you see host.txt, right? So right click on it, rename it, and then remove dot, just, Remove this and then you should say yes. And now what you can do, just cop just copy the file from here and go back to your this one and just say paste and say replace the destination file. It's replaced. It's replaced. So it's saved, right? All right, so that's it. Now go to, go back here and just hit enter. You see, it's magic. Now it's it's working. And also click here, it's working. And then, add local, and then see, I'm browsing from my laptop now, but my laptop is not a part of my domain controller. Still, I'm able to. I'm able to access my vCenter from my laptop. How? Through the host file, through the host file. And that's it. And that's all. So if you like this video, please give a big thumbs up. And if you are new in my channel, please don't forget to 
subscribe my channel. Thank you. Thanks. Sir.